Stepping into a street fight against Lady Tapa, Velvet Sky, what are you getting yourself into here? You know what, JB? Ever since Lady Tapa has come to TNA, she has just plowed her way through the division. She's been a bully to everyone. She's even beat my ass a time or two relentlessly. But tonight at Hardcore Justice, we have a street fight. Anything goes. And as they like to say here in New England, no holds barred. So tonight, Tapa, the pigeons are going to go all sorts of hardcore on your ass. Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. It is a knockout street fight. Introducing first from the Isle of Tonga, this is Lady Tapa. Velvet Sky asked the question, Lady Tapa, are you ready for hardcore justice? Are you ready for the knockout street fight? From what we have seen from Lady Tapa in recent months, I think this match is right in her wheelhouse. And now introducing her opponent from the Big Apple, this is Velvet Sky! Velvet Sky showing up for a fight tonight here at Hardcore Justice. Of course, she's from the Big Apple. She's a fan favorite here in the Northeast especially, and she has her work cut out for her in a big way. The form of Lady Tapa from the Isle of Tonga. Let's talk about the background of Lady Tapa from the Isle of Tonga. She is the niece of the Barbarian. And I know, JB, you remember back in the day, that famous tag team, Powers of Pain, right? Of Barbarian. Course. Very, very dangerous duo. And you can bet she has that family kinship, and certainly you can bet he has probably passed down a few things, some knowledge. And something became extracted there for a second. My apologies. Velvet you, you, Sky. You were talking about what was the, I talking the, about? The, 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 the lineage, training, the heritage, the lineage, the, the blood, uh, bloodlines. Of, of the of, Lady Tapa of, from Tonga. Oh, Lady, that's right. That's what we were talking about, Lady Tapa. How about Velvet Sky from the Big Apple? How about Hardcore Justice, one night only, pay-per-view? And it's only right that we get the knockouts involved. This is no disqualification. This is anything goes. And while Velvet Sky certainly has the crowd support tonight in Hardcore Justice, I think when it comes to pure physicality in the ring, you gotta go Lady Top. On the other hand, Experience edge to Velvet Sky. But is that going to be enough? You got to think too. Velvet Sky is showing a tremendous amount of courage by stepping into the ring and taking this matchup. Knowing she's outsized, the experience certainly in her favor, but I don't think you're surprised by that, though, from what we've seen from Velvet Sky through the years. Well, stepping into the ring with somebody like Lady Tapa, you've got to have a game plan, and that's exactly what it is. It's going to be duck and move. It's going to be going to be making her chase her. And I like it so far. At the same time, use the kicks, try and take down, try and knock down that big tree that is Lady Tapa. Get her down on the mat, and then maybe you can try and out-wrestle her, because I think if you go in with the mindset, the strategy, that you can out-physical Lady Tapa, I don't think you have a chance, but you're right. It's been Velvet Sky one step ahead, well, at least to this point. And Velvet just needs to stay out of her grasp. She needs to hit and run. Not get caught up in something like that, just thrown like a rag doll into the corner. At the same time, Lady Tapa's game plan has to be to not allow that distance, close the gap, be right there, be right on top of Velvet Sky. Don't give her the ability to try and out-wrestle her. And oh, this is the physicality that we anticipated. Boy, Velvet able to drop down. Lady Tapa had her throttled. Boy, no luck even trying to move Lady Tapa to send her off into the ropes. Well, there it is. Quickness to this point has put Velvet in control of the match. And that's the strategy. 
She went in with this strategy, duck and move, hit and run. Oh, wow, speaking of hit. What a bad landing on the, the floor for Velvet Sky, just yanked out of the ring by Lady Toppa. And you know Lady Tapa's picked up a few things hanging around Gail Kim as well. It's been quite an association. It really all started, if you recall, back at Bound for Glory. And I think for, for Gail Kim, it's been really a win-win situation having Lady Tapa out there, watching her back at all times, even getting involved in, in matches. And I think you're right. I think what Lady Tapa has done is she has watched very closely Gail Kim. Picked up a lot of the moves of Gail Kim. And then when you think about the physical package that is Lady Tapa, I think she is going to be quite a force to be dealt with in the knockout division. Wow, in the years ahead. I didn't know Gail Kim is just employing Lady Toppa to take out any and all challengers in the knockouts division, and that's what well, we're seeing here is just dismantling Velvet Sky. Steel steps come into play as Velvet's head was smashed right into those steps by Toppa, who now uses the side of the ring, the apron, and <laughs> right in the face of, of a concern, Earl Hebner. But this is no disqualification. This is anything goes. That's part of the street fight rules. And Velvet Sky had to know that going in. There was a good chance she was going to take a beating in this matchup. And that is exactly what's happening right now. You talked earlier about that tables match. Tommy Dreamer, EC3. Once it spilled out to the floor, you saw advantage Dreamer from his experience, I think here, once it goes outside, it's advantage Lady Toppa because of the physicality, because of the, the game that she brings into this street fight matchup. And Toppa's just been throwing around Velvet Sky around the ringside area, into the ring, into the post, into the fence, and taking full advantage of the fact it's a no disqualification match. Just, Wait a minute. Where's she going? What, what's going on? Right I in the mean, middle of the match, you've, you've been destroying Velvet. Pass uh -oh. Uh -oh. She's come bad, back for more. Bad, bad intentions with the chair being wielded by Lady Toppa. And, and our, our referee, Earl Hebner, he can say no, no all he wants, but it's legal in this street fight. Watch out. Wow, Toppa swung for the fences on that one. Did not connect. Velvet Sky having the presence of mind to get out of the way from that. Now, firing back on her own with some kicks. And that's exactly the way that you get the offense rolling against Lady Toppa. The quickness to get out of the way of the chair. The follow-up kicks. But before Velvet can get Toppa back into the ring to take advantage of that, more physicality from Lady Tapa. And Tapa went to the back to get that steel chair. And now is now throwing it back into the ring. She's not done with it. She comes right at her and again, Velvet, a step ahead. Boy, if she's able to connect, that is yeah, not going to be good. You just have to wonder how often is Velvet going to be able to avoid that steel chair. So far, so good to this point, but now it's wedged in the corner. Oh my, oh wow. Full force. And you heard the connection there with that steel chair. Oh, wow. That's just... And now once that chair is used in the corner, she's now got it positioned and pinned so that the chair is right across the throat of Velvet. And again, you see referee Earl Hebner. He's obviously concerned about Velvet. At the same time, Earl's concerned for his own well-being, just being in the ring with, with someone as, as wild as Lady Toppa. And for a 
second time. Oh my, wow. Could be enough for Velvet. Quickness gets her out of the way. Tapa goes into the corner. Did you see that? Gonna get a one count. Barely got a one count, and that was the, the advantage that Velvet Sky needs right now. Tapa went full force into that chair, and now from Sweet behind. It, girl. Nice. Shot after shot with the chair. Repeatedly, the blows across. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow, that chair just went flying right oh. into Velvet Sky, that boot. And you can bet her head's ringing right now. How is, how is Tapa able to do this after she, she took shot after shot from Velvet? That's it, mercifully, it's all out. Oh, winner of the match, Lady Tapa! And Mike, that just goes to show you how tough Lady Tapa is, what kind of athlete we're dealing with here, what kind of force in the knockouts division Lady Tapa brings. Along with Gail Kim, let's take a look at what happened earlier, how this decisive victory from Lady Tapa went down. Velvet Sky with a lot of fight, no question about it. She brought the fight in the street fight. To Lady Tapa, but at the end, the size, the strength was just too much for Lady Tapa getting the victory, getting the win here at Hardcore Justice. I I'm still stunned. I can't get over how Lady Tapa was able to take those repeated shots and come back and get the win over Velvet Sky.